the charming Chelsea Winter. He's getting into the spirit of Rangatake Chicken Week to make her chicken risotto. So let's go and say hello. Morning, Chelsea. How are you? Good morning. You're so beautiful, oh, well, aren't you? Thank you. Yeah. Well, Mark, you always look good too. Oh, but, yeah. <laughs> um, welcome back. This is exciting. This is, is a recipe in your Eats book, which we're really pleased to be showcasing. And we're going to be using free range Rangatake chicken today. Perfect. Yep. Free range is important. And a risotto mm. quite, can be quite hard. So, what, how do you reckon it's going to go today, Mark? That's what people think, though, right? Well, yeah, no, I think there's a, there's a misconception that mm. it's really hard to do, but we're going to show you exactly how to do it. There's a few easy steps, and uh, it's just key. It's just not overcooking it and making it stodgy. And that's yeah. it. It's Must really be. easy, and we'll show you that a bit later. It's all in the recipe, my friend. That's all in the recipe. <laughs> that is so true, and you can find that in Chelsea's latest book. Mm. Great Christmas present, by the way. Great to have you with us in the cafe kitchen. We are delighted to welcome back Chelsea Winter, and you're kindly making chicken thyme and mushroom risotto for our Rangatake Chicken Week, which is fantastic. So we're using top quality chicken, and we're using a top quality recipe. Free range chicken, eh? Yeah, free range chicken. And I love your book, Eat, because it's nice and easy to understand. It's all about the recipes, isn't it? Yeah. It's it's, it's about making um, all the recipes accessible to every cook in New Zealand, no matter how good they think they are in the kitchen. You know? <laughs> well, it's true because some people. I mean, I get a lot are you of looking at Mike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe I was looking at you. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, but you know, I get a lot of people saying, you know, ris risotto. You know, I've always been scared of it, but mm. I tried your risotto out of eight, and I can't believe I've cooked this. You know, they think it tastes a bit like a restaurant dish. So that's what I'm all about. I'm just taking the the scary factor out of food. Nice work and our director Glenn just told me that he made it and it is easy and amazing. Oh, so there you go. Let's see if I we can him. recreate it here today. We'll put Mark to work, shall we? Do you want me to do anything or do you want me just to stand yeah, you, back? You just stir the vegetables. Uh, stir the vegetables. Just, yeah. There you go. Yeah, 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 and, it is, there. and it is one of those recipes like you were saying, like risotto, everyone's like, no, no, it's too hard, I can't do that. And, and, mm. and they tend not to try it. It's a bit like souffles as well. Okay. You know, there's, yeah. I mean, there's a little bit of technical stuff in souffles, but they're actually quite easy to make and exactly the same with well, the risotto. Just follow us and we'll get it done for you. Okay, so what have we done here? We've chopped up celery and onion. Yep, so we've got celery and onion, so we're just going to sweat that down. Yep. Get that uh, cooked, and then we've got this uh, beautiful risotto rice here. So this is alborio oh, rice. Oh, there you go, oh, sounds bad. Are we going to say risotto then? today? We're going to say risotto. <laughs> <laughs> risotto. So, like, you know, I'm, it's a very Italian kind of thing, right? Uh, I did come from Manchester, and that's how I say things. No, no, I wasn't <laughs> meaning you, I just mean me. I, I mean, I've got the Kiwi twang pretty hard out. Um, and, you know, it's pretty hard out. And, yeah. and, and initially, they wouldn't actually generally put um, chicken in their risotto, would they? They'd just kind of serve oh, okay. it as a, an entree. It's usually yeah, vegetarian. They're, yeah, because they, they're, they're, I think, greedy, actually, uh, Italians. You know, they have risotto and pasta and then fish and meat courses. They do. actually sounds great, actually. Long lunches. Many courses. But, you know, here in New Zealand, we love chicken. And yes. we love chicken in our dishes. And so, you know, it, 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 what we're going to do is um, give it a, a nice fry off in this pan, and that, that's where the real flavour is going to come um, into, into the dish. And it's, it, adds, it adds texture, and it makes it a full meal in a pan. And, you know, it's a one-pot wonder, really. The oh, we love those one-pot wonders. <laughs> there's, there's, well, there's another one going on. Okay, so what sort of chicken is best Three. to use? The cut of chicken. We're using <laughs> the thighs today from Lingantike, free range of course, but can you use any cut? That's or do you a, like the thigh? That's a very good question. And uh, for this type of dish, I personally would always use thighs. Right. Um, they're not prone to drying out. They've got more flavour and, you know, with the slow sort of cooking, they, they, they go lovely and tender. Right. Whereas if you put some breast in there, it's probably just going to dry out and go a bit, you know. Yeah, you, you, you've got less margin to, of yeah. error, really. Okay, so, so about this size chunk is what we need? Yes. Yeah, okay. and this chunk? It's a, well, it's too late now, yeah, is it? <laughs> Actually, no, no that's very, incorrect. Very <laughs> <laughs> no, that looks good. I mean, before you don't have to be exact. It's just whatever, you know, feel your way through. Right. And, okay. um... The chicken has actually been sitting out of the fridge for a, a wee while, um, maybe half an hour or so. Away. And it, it takes the chill off, and we've patted it dry. Okay. And that helps it get lovely and golden and crispy in the pan. Because nice if you were just to like slop really cold, wet chicken in there. Yeah, it's going to take the temperature of the pan down. It's, you yeah. know, you're not going to get any colour on there. It's just going to stew. You know, it's all about different textures. Yeah. And actually, in the recipe we were talking about it before, you want to do the chicken in the in the large pot first. So you get all that nice caramelisation, all that flavour in there, and then you start the process, and all that flavour then goes into the risotto. Okay, nice. There's some good tips but going on But there's a way here. around it. We're going to deglaze that later and put yeah. it in there. Yeah, and that is all flavour. Mm, right, so we've got yeah. the vegetables sweated down. So we're going to put the rice in now, aren't we? Right. Yeah. Toast it up nicely. And we want to, yeah, we want to toast that. 
So a little bit of rice in there. I feel so awkward not stirring. I just have oh, to you stir. stir. You stir. I'll just <laughs> sit back and watch the magicians work their magic. Oh, that's better. Whew. It's getting sweaty there. Just, you know, standing there doing nothing in the kitchen. That's not what I do. Yeah, but this is a goodie. And um, so if you wanted to make this in advance, you could stop it. You can tell us when you'd stop it, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can do the whole process and you can get the stock in there as well. And you want to take it to about three quarters of the way for the rice. Right. So you'll mm. see the rice after we'll show you. It'll be sort of translucent and there'll be a tiny sort of speck in the... Uh, <laughs> tiny speckle in the middle, which will still be like white. So it's still there. Uh, it's nearly cooked but not cooked. And then put it on a tray, chill it down. And then all you need to do is just have some more stock, bring it up to heat, temperature, maybe cook it for one to two minutes, and then you can finish it. So nice. if you're doing a dinner party, that's a great way of doing it. OK, cool. So we need to follow this instruction quite carefully because it's looking fantastic, and this hopefully is what it's going to look like by the time it's finished. We'll come back and get the next steps to the all-important rice very soon. So we're celebrating the delicious free-range chicken from Rangatike all week and making Chelsea's risotto from her book eat. So where are we up to? This is looking fantastic. Uh, I forgot to ask you before, Chelsea, what would be the right sort of rice to use for a risotto? Well, I mean, a short grain rice is, is a good option. Okay. A Boreo rice, yep. get it at the supermarket in the rice aisle. That's what you want. Nice. Okay, so it's browned off quite nicely. This is a good yep. stage just to have it at. Slightly, it's, it's slightly toasty. Just a few minutes and make sure all the grains are nicely coast, coated in the oil. Nice. And um, now it's time to add a bit of the old vino. Oh, nice. Oh, I that was for me. <laughs> <laughs> smells like a good vintage. Uh, all right, so... Oh, it's from Mark's cupboard. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Probably is. Now, um, you don't have to be fussy about what kind of wine you use. White wine, just whatever's, you know, if, if you're not a wine drinker, just get something that's cheap at the yep. supermarket. And in it goes, and we'll give that a good old bubble up. Nice. So the important thing here is that it's going to add flavour and depth, and it's going to cut through the richness of the risotto. The wine, the as soon as it goes in and it bubbles, that's all the alcohol sort of yeah. evaporating. So it's no, there's no actual alcohol in there. That's a good point yeah. to make actually. And so if you stick your face in and do that, yeah, watch yourself <laughs> later. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. So that's all. It's all you're left with is a, is a lovely flavour and the acidity, right, mm. to balance yeah. out. The large quantities of butter and parmesan we're going to be putting in later. Ooh, yeah, that's mm. delicious. <laughs> exactly. So here's the chicken. So we've roasted it off, so a really nice golden colour all the way around. Just tip it out into a, a bowl, and we're just going to finish that off later because that's very, very nearly cooked. Yeah, it looks great. That's in the same good. pan, yeah. just added a little bit more oil, and we're mm. just going to roast these uh, mushrooms, and we'll add them a little bit later. If it needs a little bit more oil, just add it just a little bit at a time. And then nice. once they've got a nice bit of colour on there, we'll take those off. And then when the risotto comes, we can just add it all in. It's just great. It's all coming together now. It's time to start ladling. Ladling. OK, cool. So in here, Chelsea, we have? Um, stock. Stock. Chicken stock. And Chicken so stock. We heat, we've kind of we heated it up a little bit. Eh? Yeah. So I brought it to the boil, and it, it's hot. So if it's hot going in there, it's going to speed up the, yeah, yeah, the so process. Yeah, so this speeds up the whole process, really. So whilst you do your first stages, your stock can be warm, and then it's just a continuous... Um, uh, feeding of the stock until you get to that perfect, uh, you know, cookiness of the grain. Okay, so we're doing this for TV purposes, so we're going to speed it up. But at home, how long would it usually take to do the ladling process? Oh, I mean, it depends on your gas ring, it depends on how wide your pot is. But I mean, you, you know, you're probably going to look about 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> Once more? Uh, not quite yet. Okay, In like five quite. seconds, we want more. Oh, five seconds. Okay. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> you get his timer about, out. <laughs> about half a ladle at a time. Okay. And essentially, what you do is you kind of wait for it to, to absorb um, before you put the next half ladle in. And yes, there is a bit of standing around, stirring, but at the end of the day, it's quite That's relaxing. Cooking, yeah. And you know, if, you, if no one's to say you can't pour another glass of wine and sip that whilst <laughs> you're cooking, like, it actually, you know, it might just be a nice little time out in your day. Oh, I, love, oh. I love your approach to yes. cooking. That's good. No, that's a good way to do it. You're <laughs> it right, is. isn't it? It is. And the smells coming from here are absolutely incredible. Would you like some more, Chelsea? Yes, please. It's quite exciting. Oh, I, mean, I get excited work. helping helping Mark out every day, but having you here, you oh, know, stop next it. level. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. Until uh, you get a book out, Mark. <laughs> no, just wait until tomorrow. Oh, mate. wait until tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> well, there you next go. Week, next week, Mark. <laughs> that is so exciting. Okay, cool. A little more. Yeah, that's okay, it's cool. kind of lovely and creamy and yeah. Just Brilliant. Absolutely beautiful. And then there's so and pre the second most important thing is obviously after cooking the rice is how do you serve it? Because some people serve it really dry and then the drier you serve it, the more sort of stodgy it is and the heavier it yeah. is. You know, I like I like to sort of serve it quite rich. Well right. wet. Well, not wet, not sloppy, but right. loose. Not sloppy. Uh, not sloppy. <laughs> that's a better term. 
Uh, so just a bit looser, but you know, and and to make it loose, you know, we put heaps of parmesan in there and butter. And, and just, you know, it's just it's beautiful. It's meant to be yeah. silky. Like exactly, when, when you, silky. When you shimmy the pan, it should sort of like almost ripple a little bit, eh? Oh, you've got such better words than I have. <laughs> <laughs> Slappy. <laughs> silky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Well, everything's looking nice. Would you like to just Please, a little bit more before we go? Let's put some more in there. Okay, cool. And um, we've got some fresh thyme we're going to put in. Yeah, I'm going to gonna, there too. I'm gonna chop that now. Yeah, so you've got to take your time with the rice, but relax, get into it, get everything else ready, and she will be finished very soon. We're going to show you the finished product very soon. I'll tell you why, it's smelling delicious. And of course, the recipe is at our website, thecafe.co.nz. The chicken thyme and mushroom risotto. Look Bring it over because it smells incredible. Fantastic. I'll let you carry it oh. because it, you did do Big it. Chef. Oh, yes, no, it looks very yeah. good too. Beautiful. It eh? looks exactly like this. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> so good. Ooh. Oh, no, good work. <laughs>